Ben, three points at Thunder Park. It wasn't the easiest of games, but how pleased are you with the, the end result? I'm really pleased with the end result. I think there's multiple parts of the performance that I'll perhaps probably get onto in a little bit with the players and talking about almost reflecting on how we need to get better that we weren't so pleased with. But overall, to get the three points in front of what was an amazing crowd is just absolutely amazing. First half, not much happened. What do you think lacked in that first half? Uh, it, it, it's something that we spoke about with the players in the changing room where, once again, like, like myself and the coaching staff had individual chats with the different units. So it was almost something where it was like, it, it was little tiny details that we weren't quite getting right. So it was like we were trying to receive when we were under pressure and we weren't actually making the movements away to try and almost get on the ball in with time and space to almost try and progress it. I also think we just didn't keep the ball well enough as well at times. And that progressed for onwards into the second half to a degree, but I think we sharpened up our in-possession quite a lot in the second half. Chesterfield's number 23 goes off in the second half. Was that the moment where something sort of changed for you and they pushed on? I think to a degree. I, I, think, I think she was controlling parts of the game in the first half especially. I think already in the second half before she went off, we'd managed to find ways to impose ourselves in the game even while she was on the pitch. So I think... I mean, once again, you, I mean, you could definitely say that her coming off the pitch weakened their team. I, I, I think, I think that'd be fair to say. But I also think it's also fair to say that in that second half, before she came off, we were still the stronger team, and we still looked like we were going to push on and go score that next goal. But overall, yeah, and I, I just want to say that I hope she's okay and she recovers nice and quickly. And you were the team to score that goal, Alicia, on the score sheet. How happy were you when she put the ball in the back of the net? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm always happy. To, uh, I, mean, I mean, when we score goals, especially when it's working on little tiny bits that we've tried to work on, where it's then runners beyond to try and almost threaten the defensive line. So really pleased with almost how we scored the goal and obviously the fact that it was the decisive goal in the end. And it, it, it wasn't an easy game after that. Chesterfield kept going at you. They put in a corner. Mia Jovic makes an incredible save. She's only 16. How amazing is that? Yeah, I, I, I mean, Mia's excellent. I mean, we're really pleased to have been able to get a dual sign from Huddersfield. It was something that, once again, we, we realised that we needed almost an additional player in goal because of almost circumstances with injuries, etc. So Mia's came in and she's had two games for us. She came and played against Arnold away from home, saved the penalty, and she's just won us them three points today with that save at the end. So absolutely excellent player. And a record-breaking attendance here for the women's team at Blunder Park, 535. What's your message to them for turning out this afternoon? Uh, thank you very much. I, 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 mean, I mean, I guess it's the main part of that message. We're almost so pleased that the women's game in the area, the women's and girls game in the area, is growing so much. And we want to be at the centre of that as a, as a football club, where, once again, the more events like this, where we're giving almost young girls in the area, we're, get, we're giving all the fans the opportunity to come and see what we're building at the club, where we're trying to improve the women's game. We're, we're, we're working on how we're going to make the players better and better and better. Where, once again, the, the more events like this, the better. Because, once again, I think hopefully the fans can see that we've improved from that first league game of the season against Stronfield to now even. And once again, that progression will just continue going on and on. Congratulations, Ben. Super. Thanks, Meg.